the Developments Indicator Daily Show highlights the Kuwait Development Plan that aims to fulfill the desire of His Highness the Emir Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Jabr Al Sabah to make Kuwait a trade and financial center through seven strategic goals. That will result in the increase of the total local revenues while diversifying its sources. The plan also aims to enhance human development, create jobs, and widen the spectrum of scientific research and technological improvements. The construction project sector in the Ministry of Public Works is responsible for the construction, completion and maintenance of the intercessions on the western part of the Fifth Ring Road. Cost of the project is 108 million and 800,000 Kuwaiti dinars. The project is one of the mega projects that will serve the areas overlooking the western part of the Fifth Ring Road, like Ardiya, Firdos, Slebiya, Slebakhat, south of Doha and Ghairawan. The total length of roads in the project is 21.2 kilometers and includes three bridges as well as another bridge with a length of 2.8 kilometers on top of three intersections. The project includes the construction of four upper bridges in addition to irrigation and agriculture services and street lightning, traffic control system, electricity and telephone works. The project will transform the existing six intersections into three intersections and upgrade the safety of road users and allow the design speed on the road to 120 km per hour instead of 80 km per hour. The project works to raise the level of service for the existing road and increase the number of lanes from 3 to 4 lanes in each direction and add service corridors and emergency routes. The remaining time of completion of the project is 20 months and 22 days. The project is expected to be completed in January 2020. The Kuwait National Development Plan sets the nation's long-term development priorities. It's organized around five theme or desired outcomes and seven pillars or areas of focus for investment and improvement. Each pillar has a number of strategic programs and projects that are desired to have the most impact on achieving the vision of New Kuwait. From News KTV, a number of ministers confirmed six projects within the development plan will be completed in the first quarter of 2019. And from Kuwait account, six development projects to complete by 2019. For more information or details regarding Kuwait development account, please visit the website on the screen. The Public Authority for Roads and Land Transportation organized a ceremony celebrating the final step in the completion of the Sheikh Jabir Al Ahmed Causeway, which was led by the General Manager, Engineer Ahmed Al Hassan, and Engineer Mayis Saad, who is the designated project manager. The event was attended by His Excellency, the Minister of Commerce and Industries, Khalid Al Rodan, officials, business representatives, and distinguished guests. Here's more in the following report. A ceremony was held celebrating the completion of the Jabir Al Ahmed Causeway. In witnessing the final PC girder installation, the event was organized by the Public Authority for Roads and Land Transport, hosted by the General Manager Engineer Ahmed Al Hassan, who, along with the Project Manager Engineer May Saad, delivered informative words and a presentation regarding this flagship project transforming Kuwait into a regional transportation hub. Uh, today we have succeeded in placing the last concrete girder of the project, number nine, 958, and it was placed this morning in the north side of the North Island. This project, uh, actually a strategic project which we have started a long time back, uh, started in November of 2013. For five years we are approaching now the end of the project and hopefully will be ready for opening by the end of this year. 
we are celebrating today to install the last precast girder in Jabir, uh, Sheikh Jabir Al Ahmed Sabah Causeway. Uh, that will uh, uh, end a very important uh, activity in this huge project. It will be, uh, complete uh, the, the the bridge to connect from uh, uh, to Kuwait City to Sabiya. Uh, we will uh, minimize the time required from one hour and a half to only 25 minutes the duration, which is equivalent to uh, uh, 36 kilometers instead of 104 kilometers to reach uh, South Kuwait from Shuaikh uh, area to uh, Sabiya. The Sheikh Jabir Al Ahmed Causeway project is evidently a milestone in the vision of His Highness the Emir Sheikh Sabah Al Ahmed Al Sabah for the new Kuwait 2035, making Kuwait the ideal platform for a robust financial and transportation hub in addition to vast opportunities. Well, this is a major milestone, not only in my career, but in Kuwait itself. I mean, the Sheikh Jabir Causeway is now, well, the, the final girder went in today, which is definitely a milestone. Um, that's now completed the 37 and a half kilometers long from Shuwaik to Sibia, which eventually will be the access to the new Silk City when that starts to be built, which will just develop Kuwait to phenomenal um, uh, heights, in fact. Attendees at the event expressed their enthusiasm and sighed proud relief for the success of the project that meets optimum standards in structural durability and sustainable monumental imprint that will pass through history of the greater accomplishments by unequivocal dedication and professionalism.